Hey guys, uh, welcome to One Minute CM Game. Uh, we have Ravi Kumar today uh, from Germany. Uh, Hello. Hey, welcome to the game, Ravi. Thanks, thanks for taking time out for this. Thanks for having me. It's a privilege. Uh, tables turned. I've never been interviewed before. I'm not very comfortable. So tables, let's see how it goes. <laughs> yeah. So we both share the uh, not only the names. Uh, both are Ravi. Uh, so it's Ravi interviewing Ravi. Uh, not only that, Ravi is also into a passion of interviewing. He's been interviewing uh, many famous people. Got uh, a lot of success and. Uh, his YouTube channel is really good, uh, worth watching. Somebody is uh, looking for successful stories uh, related to goals, etc. You know, he is just there. Uh, so, quick introduction about Ravi. Uh, he's a senior product manager with uh, INOS. Uh, it's based out of uh, Germany. Uh, he basically runs uh, three things uh, apart from his uh, profession. So, his passion is to uh, run, uh, you know, a retreat for people who are. Uh, Fogged up with their work life. So he runs a retreat about that. We'll hear more about that in his introduction. Uh, he also uh, runs a YouTube channel and he does a lot of content which is related to uh, value addition for individuals. And all of them are oriented towards having goals in life, uh, immaterial which category you're talking about, whether it's personal life, professional life. And uh, Currently, he's also working uh, on building curriculum for 13 to 19 year old kids, which is more uh, related to having the successful life and, you know, the life skills. Uh, so, yeah, uh, maybe Ravi, we want to hear it from you as to what, what are you into? Yeah, so good, good connecting. Please go ahead. Sure. Uh, thank you for that uh, introduction. Uh, yes, uh, I have a day job and uh, I also have a fulfilling post day life, post day job life. Uh, and uh, one of the things that I am uh, very uh, passionate about and uh, mission oriented is uh, to uh, to help people find their uh, passion uh, and mission in life. Uh, and I think this is important for the humanity in general that uh, everybody lives a, a meaningful and passionate life because then your life becomes uh, all that more fulfilling and it's good for the world as well. Uh, so I help a lot of people. I, I, I coach uh, a lot of people to find uh, passion and meaning in their lives. Mm -hmm. I also do uh, uh, career transitioning uh, help as well. Um, and I do a lot of mentoring to uh, uh, teenagers as well uh, to find a worthwhile uh, goal in life. Um, so this is what I do. And uh, I also run retreats, as you said, which, which is a three day out of uh the rigor of your life in in wilderness uh, so we book a nice resort for three days and uh, around 20 people we we get together and find our reimagine our lives sometimes we get into the rigors of your life and uh, we are just in a rut and we are not able to think through on whether we are living the kind of lives that we want to so that's mm -hmm. why we put people out of their life and go into this retreat uh, amidst nature, splendid nature, which is non-negotiable. These are a mix of people from all backgrounds, right? Different backgrounds. Yes. So this is mostly okay. for people above the age of 25. Okay. And goes still 50. And uh, yeah, and in those three days, uh, we just uh, try to find what their core values are. Are they living in alignment with their core values? Because that is where fulfillment and meaning comes because if your life and your core values uh, there is a difference in alignment uh, then you le lead a life of quite desperation and uh, it, it's very sad and i know a lot of people who who have still not uh, been able to live uh, fulfilling they have a job they have a family they um, they show up to work uh, but they know that uh, they're living in quite desperation they have not yet the, the, the values and the way they live are not aligned. So this is something that we do as a self-discovery workshop for the first day. And then we project uh, our uh, imagination. So what is the uh, a glorious next 10 to 15 years would look like? Mm -hmm. and on all the areas of your life, all the dimensions, say from relationships to, to money, to finance, to uh, career, mm -hmm. uh, so we, we chalk that plan out because because most people never ever sit through and plan their lives proactively. We do reactive planning, but we do not proactively put ourselves on a driver's seat 
and imagine what we want to do for the rest of our lives so this is a, it's just a thought trigger a lot cannot be achieved in 3 days but at least you get those 3 days of reflection in a in a guided workshop format and yeah they go back and we also follow through so it's not like they come and then they get inspired and they leave and they go back to the old environment no we actually follow through we create a private group where each of members they help each other on the committed goals that they have so we have concrete three year goals and then we break that into one year goals and this uh, these team members they help each other achieve those goals so that is one part mm -hmm. so i'm very proud of that uh, uh, that retreat uh, other than that i'm building this goal driven life community so i interview a lot of uh, people who uh, inspiring people who have lived in the kind of uh living the kind of life they wanted to and get lessons from there and share it to the world so my my youtube channel is called goals driven goals driven life you can search for goals driven life and you can uh go there and i create a lot of content every week i send out uh, inspiring content to my subscribers yeah these are uh, some of the things that i do and I, as you said i'm also creating a curriculum for this summer for 13 to 19 year old because most people they are uh, stuck in this academic gruel but they do not have the success skills and life skills to uh, live lives so i have a curriculum for the teenagers so that they have a good foundation to face the world once they are out uh, to college and post college so so i'm sure uh, this curriculum will add a lot of value uh, so it's it's i think you have content related you know on youtube you you are physically creating some curriculum which will be helpful for you know a few decades uh, for the students so actually the content on youtube is very structured content mm -hmm. i do uh, i do a lot of casual content sharing on instagram you will find me a lot more active on instagram instagram is also goals driven life so if if i have an idea and i do not have to spend time structuring it for a youtube channel i just go uh, on instagram do a lot of stories and i am i'm more my my personality comes through on my instagram because that's where i'm more natural and i speak uh, youtube is more structured the script that is uh, editing and stuff like that super so i, I advise the followers uh, to, you know do follow this because it's also important uh, you know when, when we are when we are back I, i'm sure this retreat of pandemic would stop some day you know okay. so It was, we could not do our last retreat because of the pandemic. We did the first one in February in mm -hmm. uh, Kerala, Alappi, um, uh, amidst you know, great nature. Mm -hmm. The one was supposed to happen in May uh, in Shimla. We had a great resort in Shimla amidst mountains. Just that we could not uh, do it because of the pandemic. <laughs> yeah. yeah, do follow that. So, are you ready for uh, Ravi? Are you ready for the rapid fire questions? Because we want the audience to also know you better. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Not very good with the rapid fires. So we'll see how it goes. You're, you're on the other side of the seat now. No, yeah, so bear me out. Uh, we'll see how it goes. So now you've been doing a lot of retreats and all that. What was the worst place where you got got stuck? What was the worst place I got stuck with? What? stuck i mean you got stuck you you know you, you've been going to wilds etc so any place where you felt like oh this was not planned and you got stuck uh where did i uh, get stuck yeah the thing is uh, i got stuck uh, in in my uh, first retreat in kerala uh, especially because when you are a one man show and you are uh, leading a retreat of 20 people uh you also have to account for uh, unwinding and preparing for the next day uh so what happened was since i was not prepared i had a lot of content to create for the next day and uh, i could not sleep uh, the whole night and mm -hmm. i so yeah so i could not sleep and as a result uh, if you're not uh, if you're not yeah. 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 The entire day is gone yeah so so the next day i showed up groggy and i had to be the one to wake up we have early morning meditation just to uh, keep us on keep us on on our toes and feel fresh i wasn't the most uh, fresh of all of them so i looked groggy and uh, i felt yeah where am i and i should have planned this better and um, yeah that was not the best uh, planned uh, retreat so yeah so uh, 
you know, Ravi Kumar now is, you know, at a different level. But what about your childhood? You know, if, um, you know, I go and ask your, uh, you know, uh, friends during graduation and, you know, if uh, they have to describe Ravi in three words, what, what would they describe you as yeah, during I, your graduation uh, day? Yeah, I was uh, quite scattered uh, person who wasn't sure of where he's heading towards. I did not have any uh, goals. Uh, I wasn't. I was unsure of myself. I lacked a lot of confidence. I l lacked a lot of direction, mm -hmm. and uh, I I had no clue about myself. So what uh, what changed later is my exposure to books. I I was a very late reader in my life. Uh, after after I passed out, after I moved to Delhi, I found a friend who was a roommate who was a great reader. He exposed me to the world of books. And then once that started, uh, my direction changed. I just, I became a voracious reader. I, 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 even today, I read one book a week. That changed my world. And I books can transform you, uh, which I was not there during my uh, graduation days or uh, early, uh, late teens and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah, that that's good. Uh, but yeah, uh, I agree with some of these things. Uh, uh, in the current generation, I'm sure a lot of people have already got into the habit of reading books, uh, which add value. And I'm sure this pandemic has also taught us uh, that we can also get bored with entertainment. So, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, we have done enough searches where we do not have uh, content which will entertain us anymore. So, one of the things that I shared uh, with my audience was what are you going to do during this pandemic with a lockdown? It's very mm -hmm. easy to consume and it's very difficult to create, but it's more fulfilling to create uh, than to consume. So I, I, I shared a whiteboard where I wrote, uh, wrote uh, create more than consume during this lockdown, other lockdown time, otherwise you will never get such time again. So read this as a rare opportunity for you to create more. It's very easy to watch Netflix more. It's very easy to consume a lot of media but it's very difficult to create something original. But you know what, yeah. uh, surprisingly, if you see the whole of social media, so many people are creating, they're coming up with yes. all yeah. these uh, people are talking, talking, talking which, is, which is great for humanity. Good. What would you do if you become famous, uh, Ravi? If you already have a lot of fan followers, let's say you, you become the one uh, icon, what would you do? What would it do? So the uh, famous is something uh, that is a privilege. So what does fame bring? It brings a lot of power. Mm -hmm. um, so there is there was this Catholic uh, priest. His name was Warren. Mm -hmm. Forgetting, he has a very popular uh, uh, TED talk. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not religious. Uh, I'm, I'm a non-believer, but still, I I, I like what he uh, said on stage. He's, he's a pastor and he said what do you have in your hands and what he meant was each person has some kind of influence okay in life what you do out of that influence um, matters a lot okay that can give meaning to your life no matter how small you are how little influence you have got but you have got something in your hands what are you going to do that with that influence so the more capacity and the more influence that you get in life Okay, the, the more successful and the more famous that you become, you become more powerful to impact change. Uh, you, you become more powerful to influence people and help people. Uh, so my my uh, struggle or my uh, effort has always been to increase my capacity and influence. Okay, my social media presence, my YouTube following. When it grows, I'm able to influence more and more people. Okay. So with more money, with more uh, capacity, uh, I would be only able to help more people. That is what I would uh, imagine. Super. So, you know, uh, apart from, you know, uh, creation. Rick so, Warren. Okay. Uh, sorry, Rick Warren is that, uh, is that name. Uh, of the, yeah, it's, it's a great TEDx talk, actually. TED talk. OK. So apart from you know creation, so if you had to consume, so what what's your favorite uh, streaming channel or TV channel? Uh, what do I consume? I consume a, I, I read a lot of books as I said, uh, not 
not a big fan of um, video video content but sometimes i just uh, log into uh, dr dean martini is a great teacher on uh, self development uh, i consume a lot of uh, content from him so he is a role model sort i want to be like him uh, so he conducts a lot of um, life skills uh, training i watch a lot of that um, mr conor neil has been a big influence in my life since last year so conor neil he also runs a very influential youtube channel i met him on the first of this year he is a public speaker and a great uh, life skills coach uh, he is an entrepreneur and uh, he the, uh, the kind of amazing content that he creates almost every week on his youtube channel so whenever i do not i'm not sure what to do or, and i'm doing my utensils i need to watch something i just mm -hmm. go to youtube and watch conor uh, neil or dr d martin's content cool. and read a lot of books i yeah when i have time so how many girlfriends have you ditched till date how many girlfriends have i ditched no uh, only uh, <laughs> before before uh, my marriage i i have been ditched by girls so i did not have the privilege to ditch uh, girls i have been the at the receiving end actually <laughs> <laughs> okay so what's the best compliment i mean you you come across a lot of people who Uh, taken your guidance you have uh, spoken to people where they were into tough situations what was the best compliments you have received or and the toughest uh, situation that you could uh, handle and help somebody out yeah best compliment uh, so i have a habit of writing down the compliments uh, on my evernote uh, i have done an episode on how to build self confidence and one of the best, best things to build self confidence if your confidence is low is to start documenting all the good things people say about you on a on a on a place and then go and refer it and it then it boosts your moral and self esteem and self confidence uh, so of of the many things that people have said that uh, people find uh, me uh, motivating uh people find me genuine people find people um, have said that some of my talks have really uh have changed their lives have touched their lives and um, and this is exactly the reason why i took my uh, my um uh, this avatar seriously of helping people out and this came from my wife and she's one in one conversation and she has been saying this since long that ravi i think you should try this out seriously of helping people uh, uh, on uh, self development and inspiring people because you do have this streak and it comes naturally for example if if a youngster like at my place there is this uh, young boy of uh, 19 who came uh, to for help okay we wanted some help on weekends uh, because the house was dirty so we called him he was 19 from african origin and i was listening to something a uh, program from elon musk and then while he was working doing his dish uh, doing the dishes or cleaning the house he just was curious to know about uh, what i was listening and then i realized that he was quite curious so i took him i chatted out his five year at 10 year plans so it comes naturally to me when i see somebody who is operating below his potential it just uh, acts me up so i just help him out if he is is a teenager he doesn't know where to head i take charge i ask him to write his goals so this comes very naturally to me anybody who is living below his potential bothers me uh so i forgot the question and i actually had it somewhere else so one was the compliment and the other one is what is the toughest situation you have solved uh... yeah so this is uh, this th these are the few things so i uh, some uh, teenagers are quite closed and uh, They, they cannot relate to somebody who is uh, very senior to them but i like these challenges and i have actually broken ice with teenagers because when, once i become uh, a friend they open up and then it's i i i, I did that once in a wedding in here in germany for indian not a wedding it was a cultural fest and i found this teenager very aloof he was uh, not uh, blending with the crowd and uh, he was born born in germany so is not uh, he was quite a misfit in indian culture 
and then i broke the ice with him and i and he's a good friend of mine and i now help him and mentor him so this was an example of breaking okay that's that's good so now please talk about your school days you know uh, your transition from your childhood how how did this start you know you start you've told about the books you know that made a difference but you know how was ravi before that during your school days yeah even at school days i was a average student okay in a class of 40 and that time we used to have ranks my rank could hover from some somewhere between 17 18 in class uh, to 24 okay that that is the range i was the perfect middle i would hold the fort at the middle but i always wanted to improve but i i struggled and this this has got a lot yesterday i was talking to Esther Mujitsi, who is an educator, who is uh, uh, so she was my guest yesterday on my YouTube channel. She is a teacher. She won many awards, and she has written this book, How to Raise Successful Children. Mm. Uh, she highlighted things that I wished I had uh, that in school. For example, there is just one speed at which they teach in school, and the entire batch of forty has to catch that speed. and mostly it's unfair because every student has his own speed to catch okay some some need a little more help some need a no help but um, it's 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 very difficult and that's why uh, customized education would be would be great i would have maybe benefited from that so i always remained uh, an average but i would start in every new session with a lot of um, a uh, zeal to improve and get better in my ranks it never eventually happened but as they say there were late bloomers uh but i uh, i became a late bloomer uh, after i joined workforce after i started teaching after i started uh, reimagining my future and stuff like that but in my younger days i was an average child trying to find my uh, way why was quite shy i uh, was quite shy uh, i would be uh the 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 quieter lot uh always intimidated by the toppers in the class because i was i thought the world only respects the toppers and i wasn't um, a topper myself so i had i suffered with low self esteem um yeah so that was how it was and quite a loner i could not make a lot of friends um yeah that was how it was <laughs> okay so any any uh, suggestions you want to give the to the audience before we get into the next question on one minutes here uh i have no suggestions at, as such i mean if you ask me a question i could uh, but i, I, but, I could, yeah. but okay here is a quick question I mean, this is not part of rapid fire but uh, you know you, you've spoken about your career you uh, speaking about your goals what what is your fitness mantra I mean, what about health what's your take on health and what's your mantra on so one of the things uh, that i've learned from um, books and from my mentor is whenever you um, a goal becomes dangerous when it's not part of your identity for example i'll tell you what happened with me i have on and off maintained a uh, a, 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 a fit me okay i mean for the last 15 20 years i have been a regular to the gym and stuff like that but never consistent i would go for 3 months i would not go for 3 months and then i would go for 3 months and mostly my idea to go to go to the gym is is plain vanity i just want to look good in my clothes and stuff like that and that would okay um and then last year because i have this personal goals i am in my late uh, 30s now so i wanted to get my six pack abs which was a, a life goal for long i have not been able to achieve so the last four months of 2019 i was very serious in going to the gym and then i injured my leg i did a lot of uh, knees exercises as as a result i had badly damaged my knee and stopped and then what happened was i went fell back into old ways so i started uh, eating uh, rubbish and stuff like that why because the goal has now taken a back seat other goals to a front seat now there is a problem here usually what happens when a, when you have something as a primary goal that you are obsessed about it and you are facing it but then when something else comes uh, becomes a primary goal your fitness goal takes a back seat 
but this this is not scalable and this is not sustainable right so that's why what you should do is you should make something as important as fitness your identity when it becomes your identity saying that you know what ravi is known to be fit it is my identity then you never slack uh, so that is something that i have learned that goals can actually be damaging if they are not identity because a goal once you achieve a goal you would stop for example six pack abs is your goal and you want to have it in once in your life you achieve it then what how do you uh, still stay fit? if it's not if fitness is not part of your identity then you eat whatever comes your way um so yeah the state of being is very very important you have to make it your identity that is one lesson that i learned lately that's good insight sir uh, ravi so finally the main question one minute cm so what would you do what would you focus on if you become a one minute cm yeah so this is quite uh, like uh, uh, radical um, never imagine that i would ever be one minute cm i was uh, so the thing is the i, I was a big supporter of I still am of aam aadmi party and mm-hmm. Kejriwal became the CM. Uh, he he became like this uh, one minute CM from the movie uh, Anil Kapoor's movie. What was that? Right. 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 So he really so and at that time it caught the fancy and imagination of a lot of youngsters because that was completely a movie being played out in real. So what would I do <laughs> being a CM? Is as I said. Um, I would focus a lot on the youth because. that is where you can affect a lot of change uh transforming because once the youth becomes mainstream and he is part of uh, he's become a rut part of the system it becomes difficult to change for example i'll tell you i wanted to run a retreat for the elderly and then i realized how challenging it is because your mind is already fossilized at to transform somebody at the age of 70 years 65 70 it's very very difficult the best opportunity is to mold a child who is still not uh, well formed and that is why as any uh, leader of any uh, uh, country or a state it's very important that you shape you you have a long term vision you shape the next generation and focus all your energies on education and creating uh, life skills uh, and character because eventually once the generation is well educated and well formed they would automatically take care of the society because these are the people who will go into different streams of uh, our world right uh, they are going to be the leaders so if they are taken care of and the foundations have have been laid well the world would get uh, better i mean look at europe i live in europe and i see the quality of education that the youngsters get and this mm-hmm. is this stark contrast between a 21 year old a european and a 21 year old indian look at the confidence that a 21 year old has here and on an average 21 old here has traveled to at least 5 uh, to 6 countries he has a broader outlook to life he has a broader world view he learns about acceptance he learns about uh, respect and trustworthiness and stuff like that so yesterday i also was talking to this educator easter in my uh, in my interview and she said for her it was about trust it was about uh, love kindness and these are the skills we do not teach our kids we only teach them how to become hyper competitive and make as much money as possible but they are not well rounded and she said that to be at the top to lead any organization and to be leaders you need these well rounded skills they are not soft skills they are hardcore skills so yeah i would uh, i would focus a lot on education and i think uh, delhi is one example where it's happening and it should be replicated all over uh, all over india super thanks ravi a uh, very insightful discussion you know i personally like uh, you know learned a lot during few points which i will personally mention for myself uh, during this particular interaction and uh, super i i would advise all the new friends uh, who may travel as a new friend to keep following and uh, yep uh, this knowledge or thought process or like ravi has shared naturally what are the things he is experienced learned from experience uh, learn from failures these are the things which are really important and just you know some of these posts can be uh, 
can make a difference in your day and uh, that's one of the reason i i suggest a lot of people okay fun entertainment following celebrities is good but also try to take some of these success tips uh, and you know goals related tips on a bits and pieces on a day to day basis so that you know we go along in a long way and at least we know what is the purpose what is that we want to achieve if you are able to achieve i mean uh, identify that i'm sure you know all this is pretty uh, easy and you can there are a lot of mentors across who can you know help you uh, reach there so thanks a lot ravi i mean you've been taking interviews on a day to day basis i mean i i've gone through one of the videos uh, which you did yesterday i will definitely go through other videos because that's a lot of learning from me too and uh, yeah definitely let's be connected and yeah, uh, yeah each one of us have a lot of uh, i mean each one of us have certain qualities which are unique so as a community let's help each other i i've seen uh, ocean of mentors already in the market i'm sure each one of uh, them have superb qualities let's identify and you know get the best uh, out of whatever we can do so keep uh, keep creating the content which you are doing which will help others uh, so all the best and thanks for taking time out on a sunday for doing this thanks for driving this uh, i am i'm very very inspired by your drive i mean the way you have been able to go slog one after another and getting so many inspiring guests at uh, at your show uh, this is also a lot to learn for me and uh, i keep following your work as well so yeah let's stay connected and uh, let's uh, do as much as we can thank you ravi stay connected and you know do your best and please stay safe thank you bye bye Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, audience. Have a great Sunday.